YouTubers, welcome back. A quick tip video for you today, and this one is how to centralise the rotary table. Now, I think I covered this in uh, the Stuart S50 build, one of the videos, but like I said, a lot of these tips get lost. So this is why I'm doing this little series, trying to pick up um, and do as a standalone video. I also got asked uh, recently about this, about how to centralise the rotary table, so here's the video for it. So you probably got when you're machining anything, like you want to, you know, something that you're going to say fix a chuck on here, put a piece of work in, and you you, know, you want to make sure you centre, so you can either use it as a, a centre or, or then you've got your reference to offset to do a radius machining on, on the end of something. So how do you quickly set it up? Using your collet chuck like this, and one of these. Now this started off live, as you can get these blank ends, um, people like IDG, uh, Eurotrade, etc. do these. So this one's a two mars taper, which fits the two mars taper in the rotary table. I put this in the headstock, I think I think it was of the, the Myford. I machined this end down uh, quite accurately, as close as we can. It doesn't matter too much, as long as it's parallel, Is so it fits one of your collets. Now I chose a 19 to 20 mil collet. And I just stamped in the end, you might be able to see it, 19 to 20. So when I pick it up, I know I can go straight to that collet and it fits. So you machine this into your, in your lathe, first of all. Obviously leave a little bit of shoulder if you want. And then that's it. You've got it forevermore. Never use it for anything else apart from this. And trust me, it will save you a lot of time. And it is proven to be very, very accurate. So first thing we do, we put, put it into the collet. And tighten it up. like that so now that's in this is now you know center to your spindle in theory <laughs> it should be if your colors are pretty good we should be there so the next thing <coughs> is you put your rotary table on and leave your, your mounting loose so your rotary table can move around slightly if you watch now as I bring this down you'll see the rotary table will move to the taper so if I just push it again just offset it it'll come down your table you see your table just move there so it lines up your taper so what I tend to do I tend to push it down quite hard and lock my spindle and then I do up my clamping knots for my rotary Obviously, two different size nuts on this case, so two spanners. Unlike your spindle, lift it out of the way. You now know that that table is centered to that spindle. So if you've got DRO, you can zero DRO, or you can zero your uh, hand wheels on your, on your milling table. So you've got your reference for your zero. You can now use that to offset a certain amount to give a radius on the end of a piece of work or anything like that. But you, or any, if you're putting something round in there, you know you're going to be drilling central to it. And that is, that is to me, the quickest and easiest way. And like I say, it's very, very accurate. You can you can put now um, your finder, you know, your, your, your dial gauge on there and go around and you might be quarter of a that way which is for anything that we tend to be doing that is more than close enough and of course once you've got your work however you're mounting it either on a chuck etc however you're mounting it you can then use your edge finder you know, remove this put your edge finder in um, and you can use your edge finder to find the, the center in the in that plane so you can offset a certain amount you know you're dead center that way so you can do a radius on the end like we did on the, on the conrod on the s50 you can do your radius because you know you, you, you're centred that way and you know you, you're centred and you're offset that way for machining things like that. So that's the top tip for today. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down below. If you don't mind telling your friends to like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. It uh, helps us to, to do more of these videos. Until next time, YouTubers, as always, it'll be great.